Hey, welcome back to my channel. My name is Karen. In today's video, I'd like to talk about the blazer that I said I was going to make. I committed to, to three blazers, I think. I finished one, which almost took me out. I have made it before, but somehow I'm, I was kind of struggling with this one again, simply because I couldn't find um, horse hair that I normally use to make the inside and give the top on the back and also to make the lapel kind of give it stability. I wasn't able to find any in time online and when I did find it, it wasn't going to be for this weekend for shipping. So I went to Joann's and I got um, the uh, normal weft um, interfacing which did help. I got about five yards and that's what they had less, but um, I got enough and I started the blazer and I finished it last night or early this morning because I wasn't in the mood to go back to it after spending so much time on it, but it turned out great. I think so. I had a lining in my stash that was perfect for it. So I rolled up the sleeves back there so you can actually um, see it. Um, I'd like to talk about some of the pieces and some of the challenges I've um, encountered doing the M6172, McCall 6172. Because I didn't have the horse hair interfacing available, what I had to do was, um, it was linen that I used, so I had to provide some stability. So I used that to stabilize the whole garment. Um, all the pieces were aligned and then um, the second portion of it I again line the shoulders cut specific pieces across the shoulders and then I also interface the um, the sleeves at the top and on the base so that I have stability on the end folding um, I also had some um, interfacing on the pockets because again the fabric was like a light linen so I needed some stability so I, ha I added that underneath the lining for the pocket and it turned out fine I um, wanted a bus pocket but I thought this was more than enough and I didn't want to add anything more to it to make it more complicated but I think it turned out great it was a good make I love the jacket and since I've made it three times now I've ha um, added specific pieces and patterns that were were um, helpful based on the instructions so there were separate pieces like the shoulder pad I also added um, uh, a stabilizer over the shoulders as the um, pattern requested so that you'd have that puff and then um, when you once you add the shoulder pads which are now in and I tack them in it provided that um, stability at the shoulders so it wasn't just sewing it and tacking it on and leaving it I had to have this little piece going across the shoulder for stability purposes so overall I think it was a great make I like it um, I'll hold off for making that pattern for now, but I'm definitely going to make more, not necessarily this one. I have the blue one coming up, which I'm going to cut sometime this week and start working on it. But for right now, um, I think the jacket turned out great. There were specific parts of it that were challenging. Instead, I did the patch pockets, which I think turned out great I've, after doing the jacket and completing the uh, both um, front pieces. I was not in the mood to cut because I didn't have any backup fabric left or, or or any interfacing left, any weft. So I took the safe bet and just used the um, patch pockets instead of the welt pockets. Again, um, it's a bit challenging for me to do the welt pockets and I need more practicing. So that's something I plan on working on. And as soon as I have that down, I think I'll be incorporating it or including it in more of my um, blazer patterns or blazer make. But for right now, I think the jacket came out wonderful as I said before. I'm still working on others, but for right now I have other projects going on. And so I think it's something I'll um, kind of just uh, give a break for right now. I have two other blazers, but for right now, I am still working on, as promised, the uh, new look, I think it's 6449. And I'm doing this dress right here. I think it's view B. But I'm adding um, a sleeve, a longer sleeve, like a three-quarter sleeve. That is what I'm currently working on. At least I'm working on two other things, not just one. Um, I've cut it, the dress, 
and I've lined up the stripes. I've also taken out my overlocker, it's sitting over there, but I need to look at a video to actually do it. So I have an overlocker foot on my Juki um, machine. I think I'll use it for now. But yeah, I'm working on this right now and it's the dress. It's already cut. Not thinking I'm liking it, but it's, it's practice in lining up the stripes. So that's currently in progress. I'm also working on New Look 6732. I've also cut that pattern. Yep. It's in motion, it's cut right now in pieces, but I found something interesting on it, which I think I like, and it was the um, the sleeve. Yeah, I think it's pretty cute. I didn't notice it, but then on cutting it and actually reading the pattern and doing it, I think it's a great design detail. So um, once I finish it, I'll decide if it's something I like because it has the ruffles at the end I think it calls for two sets of ruffles. I'm only doing one because uh, two is kind of uh, too much. So I'm only doing the one set of ruffles right now. But yeah, so the are two patterns I'm working on, the dress and this top. Blazer is done for this week. I'm planning um, for next week to do another blazer, but I want to give it a break and see how many other tops or um, easy makes I can get just to clear my palette of a blazer and then go right back into it. So I owe you two blazers, the blue one and the red uh, red and silver linen one, which I'll be working on. So last week I thought I mentioned a jump. Yeah, I, I, I mentioned a jumpsuit that I wanted to create from a pattern I saw. And I loved it so much, I wasn't satisfied with the pattern choice I had for the fabric. This is the fabric. It was a, it is a linen fabric. So I went searching and looking in my pattern um, stuff I have and I found this one. It looks like Simplicity 1158 and I absolutely love this one, the second blue one right here. You can see it, yeah, this one. I think it's a gorgeous one so I've decided to do this one instead. It looks pretty easy, it's just the top and adding the pants to it and it's not much um, design features or um, fitting choices. It's just a, a like a, a, a roomy palazzo pants thing. I like the top and I like the design for this fabric. So yeah, I've changed my mind as promised that I was working on another jumpsuit, but I'm gonna do this one instead. So I've added another one to my list. And again, my list keeps getting longer, but I remain busy and focused. And so I'm gonna add this one to it, switching the pattern for Simplicity 1158. I think I like this one so much better. I definitely like this one. I like all the views right there at the bottom, but I'm only looking to make this one here, the second blue option. I really like it. So that's what's gonna come for this black and white um, linen fabric. Yeah, and it might I might need to line the top because it's pretty um, transparent right there. So I need to either line it with something thicker or maybe the same fabric just to give it that opaque look at the top. So if I'm not, um, my undergarment won't be exposed or be showing through the fabric kind of like, yeah. So that's my change in um, fabric for right now in design. There was another change in something that I promised that I'll be making. Um, it was way back in my uh, one of my videos, I had this canvas and I was gonna make that uh, pink, Simplicity to the top, but I wanted the back open. Um, I thought about it several times, didn't like the back feature, and I came up with two options after searching my patterns stash. There is Simplicity 8700. It's such a, a huge shirt, but the design detail at the back gave me the option. It's more open. It allows for the flexibility of the, the um, design on the fabric to show more. So I think this is a better option than doing the um, fabric I chose and I'm gonna cut into it this week. <sighs> the other one I think would be nice is Simplicity 8843 like an Andorok. Yeah, I love this one. Sorry, I have a note there. I love this one and I have two, um, two and a half yards of fabric. So I think I could get this one or this one out and it's one of those with without the hoodie. The illustrations on the back pretty simple, but again, the back is wide open, so it allows me to have this 
whole pattern print in the back without cutting this in several pieces and distorting the design. So that's mainly what I was looking for, something that I could use that wouldn't um, have me cut the fabric in several pieces so you wouldn't be able to see the actual clean lines and design of the actual um, fabric. And so I'm gonna choose A or B, I'm not so sure. I think I like the pocket design on D. And I think I will be lining mine. So that's another clip. I have some yellow um, lining left from a trench coat. Yeah, I'm gonna use it. I don't think I've shown you that trench coat either. Yeah, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, use it for this, this fabric right here. Here's the pattern. I'm thinking about it, the yellow, lining for the trench coat let me go grab that trench coat and show you what it looks like i just i just remember it was in my previous fix so yeah here's that trench coat that i made that has a yellow lining i absolutely love it i've worn it mainly with black on like a cold spring day or something like that, but it's it's it has so many things going on. It's pretty busy. There are the buttons right there, all the way down. Yeah, it's one of my makes that I haven't shown you. I simply forgot. There are so many. But yeah, this is the lining I'm gonna use for that um, Anura. I have a lot left over from this outfit. Yeah, so I'll be, I'll be adding that to my collection, making it. And as soon as I'm done with that, I'll bring that back and show you what it looks like. But for right now, yes, that's the blazer. It's done, she's done. I'll probably just add a button to it. Just to recap, I have the jumpsuit that I showed you that I switched out. I'm changing that pattern, the previous one I selected. I'm now using that one. I am working on the new look shirt, t-shirt dress. Right now it's already cut. And I'm also working on the um, new look 6732. That's also cut. So I have a couple projects working on right now and that should keep me busy. So by next week I should have at least two more stuff done for you from my collection. So I'm looking at the sweater dress Practically starting the jumpsuit. I don't, I'm, I'm not promising that will be done next week, but the sweater, the t-shirt the dress should be finished. And I'm sure the, um, the other new look top should be done as well. I will be um, cutting into either the shirt or the anorak for this pattern. I love it and I just want to get it out of the way. And then I'll begin working on the... Um, jumpsuit for the new pattern I found. So I'll be coming back to you next week. A couple of projects I should be at least halfway through or done with a couple and I should have some for you. But that's all I have for you this week. I wanted you to see what the blazer looks like. I don't have much. Just wanted the blazer review and show you the couple things that I've changed and what I'm working on. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.